All right, guys, so we found some significant mobility limitations in one of your quad muscles that crosses the hip and the knee joints called the rectus femoris muscle. So here's a stretching technique for that. First, before you begin, you're going to need a long strap so that you can access your leg. And you're going to need a plinth or a table that's about mid-thigh height. All right, so to start here for setup, you're going to take the strap, wrap it around the ankle, Keep tension on that strap as you come down on the plinth so that it doesn't slide down the shin. This front leg, bring it forward just shy of stretching in the back of the thigh. This helps to balance the position of the lower back. And at this point, you should be easily able to move your knee with the strap without stressing your shoulder joints. All right? So I'm going to explore my range of motion. So right about here, I start to feel some resistance. So I'm going to back off just a tad. Now throughout the stretching, I'm going to maintain a, 20 to, a 10 to 20% max effort tension in my abdomen. So I'm going to brace my abs so that I make sure the stretch doesn't steal motion from my lower back. And then I'm going to fight the band. So I'm trying to do this with my knee and the band is preventing me from doing so. Again, all of this is with like 10 to 20 percent of your max effort. So here I go, I'm pushing into the band, I'm bracing my abs, I'm breathing. After 10 seconds I'm gonna relax, but not my abdominal tension, just relax pushing with my knee, see if I can take that a little bit further. I'm gonna contract again, 10 seconds, 10 percent effort, relax, and I'm going to continue to contract or relax until I feel like I can't go any further after relaxing and or the stretch sensation in the front of my thigh exceeds a 4 out of 10 on a 0 to 10 intensity scale. You're going to hold for the prescribed period of time. And then usually with contract or relax, we ask you to train the opposite muscle group. So in this scenario, I would try to pull my heel to my butt but at this level of mobility, you're probably going to experience a lot of cramping in the hamstrings. So we usually hold off on that part until we get your mobility to an acceptable level. 